Hey guys, so in today's video, I am going to show you how to do a really cool feature on a Fire TV. So in my case, I prefer to use a Roku device. I'm just not a fan of the Fire TV software. Although I have this Insignia Best Buy brand Fire TV, I just prefer to use the Roku device attached instead of the built-in Fire TV software. So I'm going to show you in this quick video how you can tell your Fire TV to specifically start from a certain input on your TV every time you power it on so that it no longer goes to the Fire TV screen. So as you can see, I just powered on my TV and it went straight to my Roku device. You can see in the lower right corner it said input was selected on the Roku device. This happens automatically every time I turn on my TV, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the menu. We're going to go into settings. We're going to tap on that gear over there on the, on the right-hand side. And you can see right here, Roku is my HDMI 2 device. That's all I use. I just leave everything on HDMI 2, and my TV always powers right back to that HDMI port. Okay, so we're going to go to the settings gear, and we're going to actually go down to display and sounds. That might not have been your first thought. It wasn't mine either, but that turns out that is where this specific menu item is that we are looking for. So we're going to go ahead and navigate the menu, and we're going to go down, like I said, to display and sounds. And when we go in there, you're going to actually see under power controls that power on is last input that's what makes the magic happen by default this is set to home which means it loads your fire tv home screen so we're going to actually just leave it on that and i'm going to show you the difference so we're going to leave it on home so when it powers up the tv it, in fact, will go to the Fire TV home instead of my Roku. So I've turned my TV off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. And as you can see, it now loads back to the default Fire TV screen. Some people may love this. I'm just not a fan. After using a Roku for so many years, I find the Roku to be just faster, more responsive, easier to navigate. Uh, I found the Fire TV just kind of glitchy, kind of slow and delayed. Just not a fan, so I went ahead and plugged in my Roku device. We're going to go ahead and go back to the settings, display and sound. We're going to go back to power controls, and we're going to change this power on to last input. So once you select your HDMI input, that's just what it'll always power to, and you can bypass that annoying Fire TV screen if you choose. Okay, I went ahead and selected my Roku device, so now that's back on the screen. And now we can, in fact, go ahead and turn the TV off again, and then we'll turn it back on. And as you can see, it goes right back to my input of the Roku on my HDMI 2 port. So I find this to be a time saver, definitely more convenient for those of you who just prefer to start your TV on a specific input every time, and you don't want to have to switch it every single time. So this will also work for any other device that's plugged into an HDMI port. It does not have to be a Roku. You could be an Apple TV or some other streaming stick or device. The point is it lets you bypass that Fire TV home screen. 